Ever since I got into PLC programming, there has always been one thing that I've found making the whole automation industry much worse than it needs to be. Vendors are charging for the tools to do PLC programming. Not only charging, but charging big, big and big. Not only do you first buy the hardware from them, you additionally have to pay a hefty premium to program that hardware. This has somehow become a standard in our industry, and it shouldn't have to be this way. Let us just compare with the traditional IT world. The top 10 programming development environments for the traditional programming languages, which are used by millions of developers, are all free. Not only are they free, some of them are even open source, a word that the vast majority of automation vendors can't even spell to. At least not in terms of sharing and giving back to the community, only in terms of taking. For comparison between the IT and OT world, let's look at Visual Studio Code, which is the second most popular IDE in the world, used by 14% of all programmers in the world. Not only is it completely free, but it's 100% open source and the source code is available on GitHub. It has thousands of contributors and thousands of plugins, freely available for download at any time. It's an excellent developer experience and it doesn't cost a dime. Think of it, which automation vendor did you work with the last time and you thought the experience was good? More often than not, the automation vendor offers an at best subpar experience for your hard earned money. Why am I so against the philosophy of costly automation development environments? Primarily two reasons. It kills the person in us that want to play and look around, that want to look, touch, poke, compile and run that want to learn without the pressure of having to pay an annual license. It kills the person in us that want to fire up a YouTube course, hack along and learn. That's it. It kills the inner child in us. The inner child that loves learning and discovery. It kills curiosity. It hampers the industry. It divides everyone into us and them. Let me explain with one example. I'm grown up in Sweden. More specifically, the capital, Stockholm. When I was young, I sometimes went out clubbing. The thing in Stockholm was that we had this horrible system with inflated queues for the clubs. Though there sometimes were people in the club, it was most often far from full, and there were bouncers there in place, only letting very few people in at a time, so that the queue was very long, making sure it made it look much more popular than it actually was. For the few that had the money, you could sometimes get in skipping the queue. For the youngsters that came from the hood or didn't have rich parents, they more often than not didn't get in even if they waited in line for hours. The automation industry is similar. There are a lot of people that simply can't afford the development tools to learn the vendor's ecosystem. And the people that are already in the club, although they have cash to buy the tools, might not necessarily always be the smartest ones. It's very much a pay-to-play game. We're losing on the opportunity of an influx of smart people with new great ideas that are going to shape the future of our industry. The thing that vendors don't seem to understand is that this is not only bad for the users, but bad for them as well. The people coming into industrial automation now are much more used with working with free IDEs. Even if they're not software people, most students today do a Python course or two in school. Getting a Python program up and running, including downloading the compiler and tools and following the first Hello World, World example on the web, takes 10 minutes. This is what the people coming into the industry are used to. This sets their level of expectations. If they have two options, where one costs a lot of money and is a pain to get, versus one that can be downloaded and installed immediately, they're going to choose the latter. The last thing they expect to do to start programming PLCs is to contact a local sales office to hopefully get hold of the right person, create a purchase order, pay an invoice that's going to leave a hole in their wallet that's bigger than the black hole in the center of our galaxy, to then hopefully get the software and install it. Oh, and now that you've started using the software and something doesn't work as expected and you want support? Well, forget about community support on any similar place like Stack Overflow. The vendors don't do that. You're going to have to open up your wallet again to get help on your vendor logged in tool. Actually, 
you might not even be able to start in the first place as the vendor has gated all knowledge behind a paywall, so you better open up your wallet again to attend the vendor's courses. The business model of today only works because of earlier gained momentum, but that can change, and it can change fast. So what are you saying? Should everything be for free? No. Actually, the automation vendors don't have to make a single cent less. Quite the opposite. There is a golden opportunity for all vendors here. Use another business model where you can shift the cost from making the tooling to the hardware and runtime licenses. Charge for the stuff that will actually be running in your factory or machine, not for the stuff to get there. This will make learning of the vendor's automation ecosystem free, which will make more people want to try out that particular platform. More people mean more ideas, which will give more tools into the industry, which again will give you more users, which will give more brain into the industry. Whichever vendors that can offer a free IDE with all the bells and whistles that the IT world is so used to, like free integrated version control, free debugger, free static code analysis, free profilers, free plugin management, and most importantly, creation of an open platform that is easy to extend with new functionality and where others outside of the vendor can contribute and add functionality as they wish, etc. Whoever does this will take market share and leave the others in the dust. What do you think about the current state of tooling for industrial automation? Please let me know in the comments below. My name is Jakob Sakatowski. Thank you for listening and happy coding.